I'm Stephen K. Peoples, your House Blend host, and we're back on SCV TV with the guys. Thanks for rejoining us. Now, you reconnected uh, as the Desert Rose Band mm -hmm. in the mid 80s. Prior to that, though, Chris and I had to kind of reconnect. Okay. And I started doing, he called me to, to work on some of his solo projects. We hadn't seen each other in a long time. Okay. Yeah. You know, we were running parallel paths, but in different genres, you know. And uh, it was great to hear from him and his producer at the time, Jim Dixon, who uh, uh, was doing Chris's solo projects. So take it from there. Yep, um, uh, absolutely right. We, we reconnected, and actually prior to that, um, you worked on two albums I did for Asylum in the 70s. Yes. And, uh, which was great. And then occasionally we would do sessions together. Yes. Once in a while we'd do a session together. Or somebody would call us. Yes. And then um, Dan Fogelberg was doing a bluegrass album, um, High Country Snows. Mm -hmm. And Herb and a bunch of guys were down in Nashville doing that record. David Grisman, Jerry Douglas, just a really good bunch of top-notch players. And then Dan brought the project out to LA and I sang on it. But out of that came a tour. And Dan said to put a band together, I want you guys to open the show acoustically and then back me on High Country Snow's material because we're going to promote this album. And I thought of Herb and uh, Bill. Bill Bryson. Mm -hmm. And then we met through Bill, this incredible musician, John Jorgensen. I didn't know him. He was about 21 years old. He was phenomenal. And Bill, and Bill Bryson, he says, you got to meet this guy. So we meet John. And John uh, went with us on the tour. And I kept saying to Dan, I said, I think you should let John play the mandolin. I mean, he was phenomenal to this day. And, <laughs> And Dan says, no, I want you to play the mandolin. There's something you do that, and blah, blah. But point being, we go out, we work with Dan for about four weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Three, four weeks. Yep. And we come back, and John was really the motivational force of getting Desert Rose going. And, he, and I didn't have any, I had no idea of putting a band back together. Or Just desire. Did desire. <laughs> that was the word I wanted. So John gets us going. We get J.D. Manus, who I'd worked with on Sweetheart of the Rodeo. We get a drummer, Steve Duncan. All of a sudden, there's this band, OK? And we're playing the Palomino. And we get a record deal. Now, here's the, here's the great part of it. When you least expect it, it falls in your lap, right? When you're obsessing over something, it's going to be whenever God wills it to you. It was the night after the Grammys, yeah. and everybody was still in town with nothing to do, so a lot of these guys came out to the Palomino, because right. that was still up and running. Yep. And we had no name. But we got a record deal, and we also got hooked in with the Oak Ridge Boys, who were wonderful. They gave us our first break. We played Las Vegas with the Oak Ridge Boys. We didn't even have a name yet. <laughs> but that's how that happened. Desert Rose had the longest run of any band I was in. It right. had an eight-year run. Eight years, low, and, what, half and a dozen albums. And the consistency albums. level mm -hmm. on stage was 90%. There right. were such good players. And it was so something I, I, was, I wasn't used to people being professional. There was always some mischief going on in a band that I'd been in prior to that. Desert Rose was great. So, I mean, here we are, Stephen. We still go out and we play 20 years later. Once in a while, we do a couple shows. The original guys. Right. Oh, great. There's no yeah. pressure. We're not making a career change. But for the joy of the music, as, as it should always be, we go out. We have one show this summer. We've had the last couple of years, we've had three or four shows, and we stop. Well, our last song today is a, a Desert Rose song, actually right. titled Desert Rose, right. right? Yeah. OK, well, let's hear it. It's uh, House Blend and Chris and Herb with Desert Rose. I see tonight that she's alone. I keep thinking back to home. I've got that feeling, I know that it shows I love my sweet desert road Shines like a star in the sky A breath of life in a well gone dry She picks me up when I'm feeling so low Ain't no money in our hometown And the meals have all changed 
shut down They say there's work But it's always the next town Will you still love me when I'm gone? Will you still love me when I'm gone? Through the empty nights And the days so long I'm not the same And I guess that it shows I love my sweet Desro. Peterson on House Blend with Desert Rose. That's a tune from the Desert Rose Band's fourth album, 1990's Pages of Life. And it's also on Chris and Herb's Live at Edwards Barn album. And that's a wrap for this edition of House Blend on SCV TV. Many thanks to Chris and Herb for being our special guests. And special thanks to Mike Mazzetti, our sound guru, for helping to make it happen. Now, if you're a solo artist or you're in a band and perform original material and you'd like to appear on House Blend, send an email to houseblend at scvtv.com. I'm Stephen K. Peoples, your House Blend host, and until next time, happy trails, or trappy hails, as the case may be.